Today, we're squirrel hunting on public land in Arkansas, and our primary mode of transportation will be mules. The Ozarks are considered to be one of the epicenters of the mule world, and what's special to me is that I broke my mule, Izzy, from scratch. We've got a unique relationship, and we're both pretty green. You can tell a lot about a man's expendable income by his mule trailer. Oh, I like that one. Culturally iconic and the working man's mountain Cadillac, I like them a lot. My buddies Trey and Michael are serious squirrel hunters and they love their feists. These are tiny dogs with big spirits that absolutely despise squirrels and love chasing them up trees. We ride mules and let the dogs run out front. This way we can access lots of rough ground and find the squirrels. Using mules is advantageous when the squirrels are hard to find, just like this year. Within 10 minutes of dropping the dogs off the mules, they were treed. There's very little natural food in the Ozarks this winter and squirrel hunting has been extremely tough. We were happy to get a quick tree. There he is. He's timbering, Michael. Hey, there he is. Bam! See that Ozark Mountain Gray Squirrel right there. Some people might look at that and not appreciate it. With only two squirrels by 11 o'clock, we stopped to have some lunch. We're gonna cook this squirrel in some bear grease that I rendered down back in the fall. So this is 100% bear grease, just bear fat that's been right. cooked down. We're gonna cook these squirrels some good stuff. There's a lot of meat on two squirrels. $100 squirrel. $100 squirrel? Four, four people, three mules, we got two of them. Our public lands are crawling with opportunity, not just for big game like elk, deer, and bear, but for a myriad of other critters fit for the pot and rich hunting traditions. Long live the public land squirrel and our access to hunt them. <laughs>